You all on my lane, hey, yeah. you ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way. Hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like you mean, no. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a seed, no. Switch and keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on, Bistro family, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today we got the most amazing crock pot white beans with smoked turkey, soul food style, and these are great northern beans, by the way. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is get you some smoked turkey, um, some onion powder or granulated onion, and then some granulated garlic, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this thing together. And do, we do got a Norse um, chicken bouillon cube, and um, I'll show you what we're gonna do with that a little bit later. But go ahead and get your smoked turkey in the crock pot and we're going to let these go for seven hours on low or until they pretty much disintegrate. All right. First, before we get them going, we're going to season them with some granulated garlic, some granulated onion. And then we're going to put that chicken bouillon cube in here. Now, we're not going to add any salt to this now or the beans until the end because beans tend to get a little tough when you season them with salt early. So we're gonna season them with salt later. Now this bouillon cube does have salt in there, or sodium, um, but uh, this is just pretty much creating a chicken stock that we're gonna cook this in. So, um, <clears throat> also you wanna put quite a bit of water in here um, because the turkey is gonna make some liquid with the water combined with that bouillon cube, and it's gonna be a very flavorful liquid. But you want enough because you're gonna need um, this liquid to actually cook your beans in next. So once you get that situated, go ahead and pop it on the crock pot and then we're going to go ahead and soak our beans. Um, and those beans are picked. If you need help on picking a bean, picking beans, I'll link my pinto bean video down below. But go ahead and pop them in a bowl and it's a pound of beans and fill it up with water. Anything that flow to the top, go ahead and skim it off because it's no good. And we're going to let them beans sit for seven hours until they swell up like this. And that was cold tap water, by the way, I didn't use hot water. All right, once the beans situated, um, like I said, the turkey should be done. So go ahead and pop that out. And like I said, this should be really tender, so it should be hard to get it out because it should break up. Um, and then we're gonna pop another bouillon cube into this water um, or this liquid here because we want it to be extra flavorful when cooking our beans. All right, once we get that in there, we're gonna go with a whole yellow onion. And then we're gonna take our beans and put them in there. And we did wash and rinse our beans and drain them before we pop them in here just to get rid of the excess liquid that we soaked them in because that liquid contains a lot of things that uh, produce fl flagellants and stuff and you don't want that so go ahead and pop that aside then we're going to pull our turkey off the bone and then we're going to place our beans into the crock pot for four hours all right once they get tender enough where they not done all the way but um you could just squeeze them and pop them apart we're going to pop five yukon gold potatoes in here and also it's like um, small to medium Yukon Gold potatoes. We're gonna cut them, we'll dice them and pop them in here, and then we're gonna let that go for an additional three hours. All right, while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and get our cornbread ready. So we got um, yellow cornmeal, which is self rising, we got self rising flour, and we got a whole cup of um, granulated sugar. And that's one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal, and one cup of sugar. And then we got one stick of butter and we got one cup of milk and that's the cornbread recipe um it's one 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 and one and it's the perfect cornbread um we are going to add a pinch of salt in here just to make it a little bit sweeter and it's two eggs in there so we took two eggs and beat them and it's two large eggs and beat them so that's the only thing that's um in twos are, are the eggs but everything else is ones and then we added the milk in in thirds so we just incorporated it in there and then um, there you have it, the cornbread. All right, once that cornbread mix gets situated like that, uh, your butter should be melted that you popped into the oven. And we're gonna take that butter and just pour it into this cornbread mix and immediately start the stirring because you don't want um, that hot butter to cook the eggs. So immediately start stirring and um, your cornbread mix should look like that. And then we're gonna pop that in the greased um, pan or the pan that we have the butter in there. And you're gonna bake this off at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until it's done. Every oven is different. 
So and cook it until it's done. At this point, your white beans should be fully cooked and your potatoes should be fully cooked as well. And that crock pot was a low three hours. So um, low. All right, once we get to this point, we're gonna take our smoked turkey that we took off the bone and we're gonna add it in there. And um, we are gonna pop this back onto the crock pot for about an hour just to bring everything together. But before we do that, um, notice we didn't season it up until this point. So we're gonna go ahead and season um our beans and our um smoked turkey and stuff so we're going there with plenty of black pepper because you know northern beans um they complement well with black pepper from the black pepper we're going to go on with the same ingredients that we put onto the smoked turkey so we're going to go on with the granulated onion followed by the granulated garlic and then we are going to add a little lorries to it um this is soul food style so with soul food with our lorries so we are going to add a little lorries and that's that seasoned salt um just give you that extra soul food oomph all right so once that's together go ahead and mix that up and then taste it and see if it's to your likeness and if it is um or if it isn't go ahead and adjust those seasonings but uh, that should be perfect i'm tasting it and realize that it's perfect so at this point I, it should be 20 minutes up and our cornbread should be ready so pop that out of the oven perfect cornbread I'm telling you that is the best cornbread recipe ever if you need help making cornbread use that recipe and now it's time to plate this thing up so we're going on with some cornbread and i'm using a kind of shallow bowl um, because I didn't want to submerge my cornbread in that liquid but I did want my cornbread to kind of get a little soggy at the bottom um followed by some good parsley on there and um there you have it man the most amazing crock pot white beans with smoked turkey soul food style man and like I said these are great northern beans but in my house we just call them white beans but yeah there you have it man the most incredible um white beans man um you guys wanted more kind of soul food recipes as well so i'm giving you that and not just giving you those recipes but giving you those recipes made in an easy way using a crock pot um not a, not a bunch of labor at all you just um getting everything set up and then popping it on the crock pot and it's almost like a waiting game but it turned out fantastic um the consistency is beautiful uh, if you want it to be a little bit thicker you could take some of those white beans out and smash them and pop them back in there but i don't think you need to do that man because um the the soup or um the the broth kind of thickened up well um and especially when you added the potatoes in there you got that little starch in those uh, even though the Yukon are kind of waxy potatoes, you got a little of that starch in there that kind of helped thicken that liquid up. But man, there you have it. The most amazing crock pot white beans from the bistro. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, thank you guys for checking this video out. I'll catch you next week. I'm out.